started Banyan about five and a half years ago. Our clients are all owners of very large family businesses. And essentially what we do is we help with generational transition. The key to almost all of the work we do is succession planning. So we help a family figure out if they want to move a business from one generation to the next generation, and then if they do, how to do that. We help to break down the different components of what that process looks like, what the different pieces are uh, that need to be put in place for that process to be successful. And when families need it, we hold their hands through that process. There is a need to understand many people, many different perspectives, not to pass judgment, to listen to a lot of stories, many sides of the story, to understand the business, where the business has come from, how it works, how it operates, what are the key ingredients, and then to understand the ownership structure. And so our role with these families is to help that group of adults uh, pick up the responsibility that they want to have, learn how to be good stewards, become board members if that's appropriate, and work together, most importantly, to be able to be the owners of that company. What kills family businesses, generational transition, isn't the business. It's if the relationships aren't strong enough to handle all of the tough decisions that you got to make as you go across generational transitions. So we spend a lot of time thinking about how do you serve owner groups? And I think as Banyan, we were good positioned to do that. Many of the issues we deal with have an emotional element of it. There's a, like a rational element, there's an emotional element. If you rush the emotional element and break it, you're back five steps. One of the things that we do in our work that differentiates us is that we never make the assumption that we know more about their business than they do. Uh, we couldn't possibly. What we do help them do is gain an objective perspective, which they don't always have on situations, and help them see things in a different way than they have before. At the end of the day, we really help people put decisions in the right framework so that the right logic is applied to it. I would say more often than not, it's actually not a family where there's too much conflict, uh, but families where there's too little. If families are going to own these significant assets together, a lot of what they need to do is to learn how to have those conversations, to learn how to put things onto the table, difficult topics, in a way that is constructive. One of our best clients talked to us about what it feels like to work with Manion and said we really went from a place with lack of clarity of who's doing what, who has what responsibility, who can make what decision, to some simple clarity about who's in where, who's doing what, what his role was, what his brother's role was, what his cousin's role was, and allowed each and every one of them to do what they wanted to do and actually be what he calls at their highest and best use. When we're able to, to change the environment, to change the context, to make these shifts in the way that things work for the whole family, it really opens up the ability of people to do what they want and to still contribute to the, the family's success. Those are the moments when I just feel like this is, what we're doing is, is really important.